What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the meta that is in eFootball 2023. I think it's become even stronger since the last update or the last patch. And, you know, pretty much we're going to be taking a look and a deep dive into formations, tactics, and how people are setting up, especially top ranked players. So we are going to be taking a look at the top 10 ranked players in the world, analyzing their play style, analyzing, you can see here, we'll just have a, a, a deeper dive into this in a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going through it one by one and showing you guys everything that they're doing. So we've got first up the top 10 player in the world. Number 10, it is using Klopp as usual. It's going to be either Klopp, which is quick counter, or you're going to be using a long ball counter uh, for most. You know, for the, maybe I would say 95% of the top 500 players. So you can see there, this is going to be a pattern that repeats itself with this formation. As we go to number 9 on the list here, who is playing as, again, he is going to be playing with Klopp. And he's got his bank of three at the back. We will be doing a deep dive on this towards the end and breaking it down. He's got Gar Gvardiol, Delict. We've got Bastoni and we've got Cafu who's going to be able to exploit a lot of that space out there on the right. And you can see that he's largely ignoring. A lot of this meta is you have three strikers up front. You've got a very central midfield that you just kind of like don't use any of the width because it doesn't matter if you get a load of space out wide at the moment. You can't really do anything until you swing the ball in or run the ball in. So you only need to defend in front of the goals and score in front of the goals. You don't, you know, you're not going to be scoring goals from the wing. Yeah, you can get chances and break down players, but a lot of the streamlining of the attacks are going to be quick touches, one touches, you know, touching goals. Again, we've got a slight modification here with the 4 3 3, but we still have Klopp, three out of three with Klopp. We've got Romero, Diaz, and Van Dijk. We've also got Puyol there as well, who can slot in as a centre back if we want to change formation slightly and put a left back in and have still our three bank of three at the back. We've got Lewandowski, Messi and Mbappe up front and then Paul and Modric and Casemiro. Workhorse, orchestrator and an anchorman. And this is going to be, a, you know, rinse and repeat. Pretty much there's one or two variations uh, from the top 10. But listen, lads, look, I mean, people want to win games, especially these guys. They could play with any formation and tactic, like not taking away these skill levels. I'm just kind of showing you because I get so many questions about like what actually works online. Um, you know, out wide possession based gameplay doesn't really work. Now, this is a slight modification to this, but I think that this guy could be using, possibly could be using sub tactic with the way that his team is, is set up, right? So I think that he could be pushing either Neymar or Messi into a 4-3-3 a three, three, and then obviously putting Messi up front uh, depending on who he puts AMF and then you can always slot in Gavardial as a centre back uh, or a left back there as well. He is playing the, the meta three at the back centre backs and this has been something that has been in Pez for a long time. It used to be four centre backs, they have changed it that you can only have three but yeah it does kind of just make your, your centre backs really 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 dominant especially if you play Tiki Taka, you play touch and go. Declan Rice is going to anchor everything there but I think this guy is playing a sub tactic definitely moving Messi up into a 4-3 three and then Bellingham Rice and Neymar or else Messi and Neymar up front so it's again rinse and repeat exactly as you would expect and this is kind of the thing right if you want to play competitively and you want to play any online game it doesn't matter you know if it's Pez if it's eFootball if it's FIFA if it's COD if it's NBA you you are going to always have overpowered or stuff that works really really well and this is what I'm talking about here right this is all kind of how you have to play online at the moment it's all quick touches it's literally like half a second on the ball and waiting for your opponent really to make a mistake to pretty much walk the ball into the net you know or else sweat it across you know with a little cut back and a tap in and look you can you can kind of complain all you want about it but you know, if you want to enjoy your gameplay, I enjoy playing possession, win, lose, or draw. But if you are looking to get ahead and you are looking to climb up the divisions, this, I think, is the way to play at the moment. And look, a lot of people are asking me, um, you know, about different formations and stuff. This, again, I think this is a slightly modified one. I think a sub-tactic could be used here as well. We are using Klopp again. We've got Bastoni, Hernandez, and Fabinho is in a slightly advanced role. I reckon we could go four at the back there. Or else we could go, you know, put Fabinho back, centre back. It's not really an issue, but it is a bit of a unique one. We've also got this one here uh, with the top five ranked player in the world. He's got a back four with two fullbacks. So again, this can be something that you look at over time. Obviously, Paddy V and Ronaldinho, Messi, Neymar and Mbappe. You're going to have one, you know, of 
the two every time you come up against a really good division one player they're either going to have three center backs they're going to either have three center midfield or three center forwards in that central role or else they're going to be using Klopp that's going to be one of the three and if you come up against a guy that's using three of those you can be damn well sure that that guy knows the meta and he knows exactly how to get the best out of his game and especially with the team play style level being high you're going to get those boosts and with the form for a lot of the legends it's going to be on B you're going to be getting runs against you now this guy has a slightly alternative uh, manager and he's got a more traditional 4-2-1-3. So this is kind of like a formation I would usually play. Um, but I would say, again, that there is a bit of sub tactics going on there as well. Uh, we've also got Momo, one of the best players, obviously, in the world. Absolutely beastly player. He is top three at the moment. And you can see there, as we said before, Neymar, Mbappe, Messi. Romanegi joins the ranks here as well. We've got Rodri sitting in the hole. We've got our back three with Zhao, uh, with, uh, Zhao Cancelo on the right flank. We've got a lot of options with this squad. Mataus there as well. We can bring Messi out and switch him with Neymar if we're going to be man marking. And I will be breaking this down towards the end as well. Uh, so stick with that if you want. Again, we've got that repeated Neymar, Mbappe, Messi tripod. We've got Kimmich here as a DMF. But look, there's a lot of options here that you can change. You could put Kimmich right back, take off our Alexander Arnold and get on a DMF. You could put Marquinhos into the other side and move Joao Cancelo and have a back three, which are centre backs. There's a lot of options depending on who he has on the bench. But again, he does have Klopp. De Bruyne comes into the flanks there as well, or into the ranks, I should say. And then the top ranked player in the world, right? So this guy's got a 3 2 3 2, right? He's got Makalele and Davids in midfield, probably the two best anchormen and, you know, destroyers in the game. He's got a back three. Uh, Campbell is in there as well. He's got Donna in goals, who is probably the best keeper in the game, I would say. I reckon that there is a bit of sub-tactics going on here as well. I reckon that he's putting Cancelo back. He's moving to a back three with Cancelo as the back four, as a right back. And then I think he's putting Messi up front um, or else Neymar up front with Mbappe playing through the middle and Del Piero sitting off in, in an SS role for those curl shot so that's just my opinion on that because you can see that his team play style level is slightly down there i don't think that that's his finalized division one team um but he is using atletico madrid's uh simeone so yeah look right this is kind of what it's all about right you'll see here the default team that's set up and then you will see the pattern of play that's going to be played right so this is a very simple one to, to break down You've got Maradona, Van Nistelrooy, and Messi. You've got your focal point with Van Nistelrooy. You've got Neymar, Pedri, and Makaleli, very, very central in the middle of the pitch. So you're going to be doing quick one-touch, you know, interchange passing goals there with those three boys. Apart from Makaleli, he's going to sit back. And then you're obviously going to be able to join the attack with Cafu. Cafu can slot in to a center position manually. So your AI is going to handle the back three. And then you will be pro probably be controlling Cafu manually when you're defending to have that fourth defender there or else Makalele, depending on how you defend and how you play. You've got Messi and Maradona, two excellent ball controlling players, brilliant dribblers. You have a lot of options on this. You can switch out Neymar, or Maradona or Messi and you can have that little tripod going. But yeah, this is kind of where we're at at the moment. I think they need to kind of bring back a lot of the different play styles, possession, out wide. That's when I was really enjoying this game. Whereas at the moment, it's if you can't beat them, you kind of have to join them. You know, Klopp, uh, Simeone, long ball counter or else quick counter. And obviously, look, skill level comes into it, lads. It's not as easy as a player that's just average at the game. You know, that's going to play with these formations, with these players and just absolutely dominate to get to Division 1. But what this does is it like it really streamlines how you need to play the game. And if you can master that and the responsiveness and the connection is good online that you can play zippy ping pong passing, it is going to be, you know, get you more results. Because when you lose the ball, it's all about pressure and it's all about pressing to get the ball back. It's not really about controlling the possession. So let me know what you guys think of the current gameplay, the current meta at the moment. Just said I'd break that down for people. People asking me. I did a video on this a while back. So this is the new top 10 in the world. And obviously these guys are absolute demons at the game. I mean, look, I'm an average player, man. I'm not expecting to beat Division 1 players regularly. I'm an average player. And, you know, these guys are at the top of their game. So, fa you know, factors such as formation, tactics, managers, all that does come into it if you are an average player. But these guys are absolute beasts. And if you are good at the game, the cream will always rise to the top, no matter how much, you know, you play into the tactics or formations or anything like that. But yeah, this is kind of just the breakdown of it. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want some more. We are going to be working on a lot of analysis videos quite soon, and they'll be dropping over the next few days for the next week or so. So yeah, until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and leave a comment in the comments below. Peace. <laughs>